Mordechai Becha. Welcome to the Gateway's Parsha vlog. This week's Parsha is Vayechi, and uh, we have Yaakov, Jacob, giving a blessing and prophecy combination, really a blessing and prophecy descriptions to his children. And it's very beautiful uh, Parsha, a lot of poetry, very difficult to understand. There's one verse uh, towards the beginning in which uh, Yosef says to, uh, uh, sorry, Yaakov, Jacob says to his sons, he says, Unasaticha likahal amim, which means, I will make you into a community of nations, kahal, community, amim, of nations. And it's interesting what exactly that means. So Rabbi Samson Raphael Hirsch understands it as meaning that uh, this is a prediction and a blessing that the Jews will not be just one type of person, one personality, one career, etc. will be a community of nations. Every one of the 12 tribes, as they developed later on in history, developed very different character traits, different characteristics, different talents, different areas of expertise, etc. Later on, we find that Yisachar were uh, great scholars of Torah. Zvulun were great merchants, uh, seafaring merchants. Uh, we find certain tribes being very military and uh, very capable uh, in terms of uh, military affairs. We find other tribes were gourmets, were producers of great food. Other tribes were astronomers. So uh, Rav Samson Raphael Hirsch points out, he says, this exactly is in order to teach us that there is no one particular personality type, career, talent, and type of person that the Torah, that a relationship with God, is available to. Rather, a relationship with God and a relationship with God through the Torah is available to anyone, no matter what your personality type, what your talent, uh, what your proclivities. A person could be a great business person and also be a great and righteous person. Someone could be an excellent chef and still be a great and righteous person. Someone could be a plumber or a scholar or a soldier or a politician or a greengrocer. And he says, he says, the ideal of God is that the Jews should not be all clones. He doesn't want us all to be scholars sitting in a uh, and studying Torah. He wants some people to be that. He doesn't want us all to be business people. Some of us should be. He doesn't want us all to be farmers. God wants us all to be actually who we are. And, and, and with being who we are in our very essence, with our personalities and talents and everything else, to still be able to develop a relationship with God through the commandments, the mitzvahs of the Torah. It's a very beautiful idea. And it's very, very central uh, Rav Hirsch says central to Judaism to understand that uh, you cannot necessarily expect every person to be the same. Um, uh, and, uh, and he says this is one of the flaws in some people in education, a lot of educational theory, a lot of, uh, or rather practice, not theory, but a lot of educational practice is trying to force everyone to be the same. And it's not so easy if you have a classroom of 25 kids, so it's not so easy to care for the individual. Uh, it's almost impossible. Uh, but the parent has that obligation. Each parent has to look at their children and try to develop them individually. Chanoch lenar al pidarko, develop the child, educate the child according to their particular way. Uh, not to be someone else, not even to be a clone of you, uh, as good as that would be, but not even to be a clone of you and not to be a clone of each other. And an amazing, amazing lesson that what we are trying to, what Yaakov is blessing his children with is individuality. He's blessing them with uniqueness. He's blessing them with diversity. And he's saying with all of that diversity, Kahal Amim, a community of nations, you can still be good Jews. You can still be good people. You can still be good human beings. You still have a relationship with God. You don't have to be anything in particular uh, in order to be a good human being. And that, I think, is a very central lesson of this week's parsha. Thank you for watching. This is Mordechai Becha with the Gateways Parsha Vlog. Thank you.